everyone, Flaky Burnett here. I just need five minutes. I wanted to do something really short and sweet every day, just telling you guys how I view the political climate right now. So every day, two o'clock, and yes, I realize it's 2.11. I'm going to be on here just chatting really quickly about everything that's going on. Um, and for those of you that have been following me for a while, I really appreciate you um, sticking with us through all the moves and my husband's illness and all that kind of stuff. For those of you that may be just tuning in for the first time, I just saw some crazy chick in a mega hat. Uh, so why flaky brunette? Because I'm like totally flaky. It's like I couldn't find my Trump shirt, so I'm wearing my husband's Trump shirt. Just different things like that. But when it comes to the truth and the facts, I have no problem whatsoever um, speaking it and calling people out on their crap. So can we just talk about... Um, Follow back. I try to follow everybody back. Um, on Periscope, it's a little bit harder, um, but I will try to do that for sure. But can we talk about the sneaky little Democrats? I mean, they have just been trying to change everything, right? Everything within our culture lately. It seems they have been attacking. Um, for example, what about all the censorship? Um, if you don't agree with them, they try to censor you. This has been going on for far too long. I'm so glad President Trump is finally getting involved. Um, and David Nunez is suing Twitter, which I think is great. And I know Twitter is like a private platform, but I mean, are they really? I don't really think they're a private platform, um, considering that they are definitely more like a town hall, it almost seems now at this point. And it's like, what about Judge Janine? Can you believe Fox suspended her for two weeks? For what? Speaking the facts about Islam, I don't even know how Ilhan Omar got into Congress. I mean, I know how she got in. I, I, I mean, first of all, we didn't have, she didn't have a Republican person to run against, first of all. But um, you can't censor people just because they have a different opinion than you. That is absolutely crazy. You, you, you can't do that. And the Democrats have proven again and again and again that that is exactly what their goal is. Their goal is to attack our free speech. Why can't Judge Jeanine, um say what she's thinking against Ilhan Omar? I mean, and Ilhan Omar, who's been completely anti-Semitic. But, oh no, let's protect her. And the Democrats can't even actually call out Ilhan's statements solely because, oh, we might offend somebody. And what about all the other wrongs in, you know, America? I mean, give me a break. This is insane. Um, can we talk about how their late term, um, their late term abor abortions? I mean, first of all, abortion is not a woman's health issue. Uh, everything that was passed in New York is awful and terrible. And that the Democrats think I have been watching so so many Democrats say and leftists say that babies are parasites, and it's it's crazy. You know, a baby is a human life, and the fact that Democrats cannot respect human life is terrible. And so I think that we just have to keep pushing forward. We have to keep pushing forward to, def to defund Planned Parenthood. Um, and what's this thing about them wanting to lower the voting age to 16? Please raise your hand if you knew who you were at 16 years old. Um... I didn't, you know what, I was pretty, pretty, you know, leftist when I was 16. So I clearly didn't know what I was talking about, but you're going to tell me that a 16-year-old can vote? See, it's all about changing the, the rules to the game so they can win the election in 2020, which is also why they want to do away with the Electoral College, which is absolutely crazy. We can't do that. We can't lower the voting age because 16-year-olds don't know who they are. And, you know, the indoctrination, you know, it starts so much younger now. It's, it used to start in college. Things for the hearts, but now it starts, you know, in like elementary school. They are totally changing and twisting our culture into something that's ugly, to something that's not going to be successful. And, you know, they're just doing it to control. They're doing it to take away free speech. It's like with Trump and, you know, blaming him for the shootings in New Zealand. That is totally not Trump's fault. That's not Laura, uh, that's not Candace Owens fault. That's not any of those people's fault. Everyone is responsible for their own actions. And that is the thing the Democrats, you know, don't want people to take responsibility for their own actions because, you know, they, they just want to link it to racism. They want to, you know, link it to white nationalism and all this other kind of crap. And they've gone insane. They are literally trying to destroy our country from inside out. And it's a terrible thing. And, and so I think, you know, there are some things that have been making me happy lately. My husband and I, we lived in D.C. and visited D.C. many times of the year. And when we used to go out to the White House, we never saw any mega hats. Like, we would be, like, the only ones wearing our mega hat. And we were like, what is going on? And so 
White people are scared they will soon be the minority. No, you know what I want? I love all people. I love all people. I'm not scared of anything. But when you have nonsense to say that I can't say anything against Islam, which is an ideology, or you're going to silence me or ban me, I have a problem with that because it's called free speech. And that is why... <laughs> It's protected. It's called free speech. You can't take it away. It doesn't matter how much you yell and scream about it. You know what? Free speech is protected. There is no such thing as hate speech. Okay? Just get that clear first. There's no such thing as hate speech. Okay? Yes, a call for action is illegal, and that's already on the books. But you can say whatever you want as long as you don't call for action. You know, if you're in a movie theater and you yell fire and there's no fire, you're going to face the consequences. Oh, because you're going to take responsibility for your actions. So that's how it is. And I, but anyway, we have been very encouraged and we've seen so many mega hats. We've seen mega hat, hats from groups of school kids. We've seen, um, just many, many people wearing mega hats and that makes me so happy and so proud because we've been talking about it for so long about people being bold and it makes me ecstatic. It makes me so, so happy. So I think that's what we have to continue to do is we have to continue to wear our red hats out. We have to continue to talk to our friends, to talk to people, to get on the ground movements. I mean, like Scott, Scott Pressler, he does all this great stuff. You know, see if you can get hooked in with that, you know, and I understand that we all have jobs. I understand we all want to spend time with our family and things like that. I get it, right? But you know, just a little bit, give a little, we call ourselves patriots, we have to start acting like it. So just give a little bit, you know, for America, whether it's tweeting the truth, whether it's, you know, talking to your friends about it, whether it's, you know, for one vacation, maybe go to a protest, maybe go to a rally, show up. And that is what I feel like we're moving to because I really feel like people are saying, hey, you know what, we don't want to lose our country, we have to do something. And I really feel like, you know, we're beginning to do it. So, Anyway, that's my two cents. Thank you guys very much for joining me. If you want to see the rest of our work, check out flakyburnett.com. There's a big donate button at the top of the PayPal if you want to see more of our work and we can, you know, maybe get some lighting in here and I can do more videos outside. That would be awesome. Really would appreciate your support. Hope you guys have a fabulous Wednesday. I'll talk to you tomorrow, 2 o'clock. Bye.